from NBC News, this is Today. We're back on this New Year's Eve day with some cocktails to kick off the new year. I was totally against this segment, but Hoda insisted. Yeah, right. So we've invited the cocktail guru, mixologist, Jonathan Pogash, to help you with your holiday menu. Hello, Hi, Jonathan, Jonathan Pogash. Hello, ladies. Happy New Year. Happy, Happy New Year to you, too. So we're starting off with something unique in the pear family, I oh, see. Oh, yes. This is an excellent cocktail to ring in the new year. This is called the Spiced Pear Lenart. It's a, a traditional Swedish drink. Yeah. I'm using Zante, which is a spiced pear liqueur. It's actually a cognac with fresh pears mm. uh, in the is mix. Is that new? There. Is that a new? It's brand new, yeah. Oh, uh, just it's wafting this way, and it's, yes, it's rather pleasant. Fun. Yes. Mm -hmm. I always love using seasonal ingredients in my drink, and uh -huh. you know, f um, fall into winter, pears and apples are very, very seasonal. Okay. Um, I also put a little bit of freshly squeezed lime juice. Always use fresh juices and club soda, garnished with a little. Uh, Do you want to try it? Fresh pear and lemon. Let's try. Shall we? You don't sure. have one, Jonathan. I, I, I have some terrible. Later he, on. He's, he, believe me, he's fine. Yeah. <laughs> I, I checked him out during commercial. He's fine. <laughs> Refreshing. Yeah, it's light. It's not. Mm -hmm. um, yes. It's not like and heavy. And very perish. Right. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. yes. All right. What do we have here in the oh, bowl? Oh, this is a great holiday rum punch. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm using a, a Florida Cana, which is a Nicaraguan seven-year-old rum. It's slow aged. Everybody has that at home. <laughs> oh, you get, it, you get it in the store. Um, great full body in this. A little spicy. I put a little bit of apple cider, some maple syrup, freshly grated nutmeg, and fresh lemon juice. Now, where does a guy like you get his love for, for all this stuff? Oh, these kinds you. of bizarre Thanks, drinks. Well, actually, I kind of um, started out just bartending behind the bar. Um, uh -huh. Actually, let me give you these. These have a little bit of ice in them, okay. Okay. which is kind of nice. Here, and, um, Thank you. I uh, just started getting creative and coming up with my own drinks here. Oh, so these are yours. These are yes, yours. You invented very these? Own. They, I invented Why them. Why did you say we so? Now we're, now we're impressed. Please, candy, we weren't ca before. candy cane. <laughs> we weren't before? Is that what you said? <laughs> It's not the drink. I just got to look at my hair. <laughs> no, no, this is that's anyway, good. I love that. That's actually good. I, I like that. That's very good. I like you, Jonathan Pogas. <laughs> and right. so a little Wait, so this, this is this is that yes. famous Asahi or uh, Asa a Asahi. Asahi. Let's say it together. Asahi. 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 Good. Yes, the Brazilian super fruit. From and the our, rainforest. Yes, I'm using some uh, mm. fresh acai berry juice and Martinelli's non-alcoholic sparkling cider. So this cider. is, so this this is, is a healthy virgin. alternative. Exactly. This is your mocktail. For those who may not be mocktail. drinking, let Thank me you, darling. put a little top off on there okay. for you. Okay, get that baby bubbling. And if you, if you, you can use regular champagne if you feel you like can. it. You can. Also, if you want to spike it up a little bit, there's like actually that, no? an acai berry um, spirit called uh, Vive. That is right so there. good. That Asahi is so good for you. It's good for you, but... Come on, not on New Year's Eve. Anyway, <laughs> okay, with uh, some champagne. Okay, we're well, moving on to sparkling wine. Um, sparkling wine. Rosé, very festive, great color. This is Freshnet. It's a Cava Rosé. Now, Cava is a sparkling wine from Spain. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is very, very festive. It's got some cherry notes, some berry notes in there as well. Just really great for the holidays to toast or to have with food. How expensive is that? It's about $14 a, a bottle. So okay. Pretty I bet it's very nice. I bet it is too. Very Cheers. Nice. Cheers. 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 Oh, golly, people are thinking mm, at home. This is terrible. Mm. So, um, I like sweeter, I think. Mm -hmm. Right? It's yeah. dry. It's, it's dry. Yeah. It's dry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's the last one? So, this is a really wonderful champagne. It better be after that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Jonathan. So Just be. I, I know. Patience. Patience. Love it. Yes, go, Donna. Love it. Um, so, this is Laurent Perrier. And we, a lot of us know Laurent Perrier. This is actually the oldest family owned champagne house in the world. And if you want to go budget friendly, grab a half bottle of this because a half bottle will run you about twenty bucks. That's it. So a full bottle, forty. Here you All go. Right. About so forty. Yeah. Here you go. Thank you. This is very nice. To everybody toast. at home, a very happy New Year's yes. Day. Cheers. Happy no New driving Year. for you after this. Jane. No, mm -hmm. absolutely not. Really? Don't drink and drive. Oh yeah. That's good. Mm. All right, coming up, we have the multi-talented Steve Tyrell. He's got a great performance. He's got a great Downstairs. song coming, written by a young kid. Yeah, And it's Teenager. for the new, um, um, what happened to the Morgans?